Good morning, y'all. It is currently 7.41 in the morning. I just finished my skincare. I have to be at the office at 9 a.m. today. My first client is at 9.30. So let's get into this morning routine. I like, <clears throat> I like to try and get some sort of like stretching or movement or something in in the morning um because these joints aren't jointing like they used to be <sighs> so we don't have time for a walk this morning but what we do have time for is just a little bit of stretching so let's do that We are back in the bathroom, time to get ready. For those who don't know, I have my own practice. There's four of us that work there right now, three therapists including myself, and then one operations manager. Um, social media is also a part of my job, so one of the things I have to do this morning is I have to post on Instagram. I usually post around 8.30ish mountain time in the mornings, um, and then yeah it's now 806 I have about 35 minutes to get ready grab something to eat and get out the door time management is not on my side um, if you follow me on TikTok and you watch my day in the lives you know that I'm also going through a ADHD assessment and hopefully after that things like time management will be much easier okay get it ready psych I need a cup This god. Okay, y'all. We don't have very much time left. I need to leave like five minutes ago. I always build in panic time to my schedule. So I, I don't always build in panic time. Shit though. Today I built in some panic time to my schedule so that in the event that I was running late, it would be okay, which is our situation right now. I am going to toast a bagel, make a coffee, and then head out the door. Did a bomb just go off in here? Yes, it did. As a side note, if you haven't tried a honey latte, you are missing out. I like the silk half and half and then I just put some raw honey, espresso, frothed milk, I'll show you. So I just 
just go in with some softer lights, which just gives it a better vibe. This is crooked. So now I'm gonna settle in, wait for my first client. Um, I have a client at 9.30 and then another one, I believe at 11. So the first two are back to back and then I have two sessions later today as well, as well as a team meeting. So we have a very packed day. So I just finished my first session. I just love in-person sessions. They are my favorite. It's so, it's a much different feeling going to therapy in person than it is online. I think that although you can have such a great connection online with a therapist, I think that in person, the vibes are just different. You're able to actually feel each other's energy. So yeah, right now it is 10.40, so I have 20 minutes until my next client. So what I'm gonna do is some notes. Um, I'm gonna do some notes. I know I have some emails to do, so I'm gonna tackle all of that before my next client. My next client is online. And then I'm gonna go home after that and work from home for the rest of the day. Session number two. This is a very common question from people who struggle with hyperindependence, and the question that I will ask back is what feels uncomfortable about someone acknowledging your pain or things that you've gone through? Welcome back. I finished my online session. I did some TikTok stuff um, and it is now 1234. So I don't have another meeting until 2.30. So I'm gonna go back home, get some lunch because I am starving. I do still have to do some prep work for the meeting this afternoon and general notes, all of that kind of stuff. I noticed that some supplies in the office are running low, like Kleenex and whatnot. So I do have to get that at some point as well. So taking a mental note of all of this kind of stuff. And we move. <sighs> Something that I also really enjoy about having an office space is that it's just so peaceful in here. And so sometimes, not very often, granted, but sometimes I will come here just to kind of do work and just hang out or like create content or whatever it is because it's just so quiet it's so peaceful it's just a different vibe than being at home but because it is a fairly virtual practice in the sense that we all share this office space i don't really see my team members that often so in that sense private practice can get a little bit isolating because you may not see people on a day-to-day -day basis and by people, I mean kind of team members and people that you can, can kind of just chat it up with and whatnot. So that's something I definitely miss about being in a traditional organizational sort of environment. Whenever I'm out and about and I start to get hungry, immediately I just want to go get food and I have to just be like, Simone, you have food at home. Jesus. I'm like, Simone, you have food at home, you have food at home, you have food at home. We are back home and always the first move is to change into sweats. So I'm going to make a little bit of lunch now. Figure that out and just kind of hang out for a bit. So the best for when you don't want to cook is this guy from Costco. Amazing. I'm going to pop that in the oven and then I'm also going to make a smoothie with protein powder and whatnot because balance, right? Okay. So to make sure I have like some nutrients in my smoothie, I use protein, I use spinach, and then I will also put some chia and flaxseed in there as well. Pizza and protein smoothies. And then we'll put a little PB for taste. My little I mean a lot. This is what she's looking like before. Hi, um, and I 
and she was just emailing me like two weeks ago, but whatever. My blender fully broke. Oh my god. This is amazing. I wonder if it will still work without that piece. I think that was the seal though, so that's good. Love to see it. We're gonna need an outfit change after this. Okay, taste test is good. We are very sticky and dirty and everything is dirty now. So I'm gonna... We are back, smoothie in hand. Pizza is done. Look at that, chef's kiss. I have about an hour until my next session. So I'm gonna take like 20 minutes, just hang out, eat, hang out, relax, watch some TV. I'm probably, I've been watching The OC lately, re-watching it, and it has just been such a good comfort show. So I'm probably gonna watch that for a little bit and then get ready for my session, do some emails, notes, etc. Just about to head into my next session, number three for the day. And then after that, a team meeting and another session. So for the next hour, we have a team meeting. And so we're going over group therapy workshops that we're gonna do, um, just updates, but not catch up, see how everyone's doing as well. I'm waiting for everyone to join. Okay, people are starting to join the room. the team meeting fun stuff is on the way I'm excited about starting group therapy for the practice that's gonna be really exciting and awesome we're working on anxiety and depression for that group and then I have a I have a consultation in the next couple of minutes it is beyond hot in my building let me show you this 81 degrees, 81 degrees. <sighs> I'm sweating, there's no AC in here. Mm. We're done. We're done meetings for the day. I feel my brain is a little bit fried. Tomorrow I am thankful that I don't have anything going on. I don't have any sessions until 4 p.m and I only have two sessions, which is really good because I have four million billion thousand things to do on my to-do list, it feels like. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow I can just wake up a little bit earlier, go to a coffee shop, stay there for a good amount of time, and just kind of power through a lot of these things. I have lots of things to do for the practice, marketing, group work, workshops, um, social media stuff, like quite a few things I need to flush out. So it'll be nice to kind of have that time in order to do that. <sighs> I feel like I need some outside time. I haven't been outside except for driving to the office. So I think I'm gonna go for a walk or something. What I will say is owning your own practice is definitely, is tough, is hard. There's a lot that goes on and a lot to do, but the first thing I need to do before I do anything else for the rest of the night is write down all of the things that I need to do because the list in my head is probably going to stay there for about 30 more seconds before I forget everything. So that is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to hang out for the rest of the night and have dinner <sighs> and just hang out. If this is something that you enjoyed, if there's different parts of my life or the practice or whatever it is that you are curious about and have questions about or want to see in the next vlog, let me know. Hit that like button and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I am off to do some self-care for the rest of the night.